We have moved into uh, providing pathways for all students. That is a ministry initiative and it is also uh, a board initiative along with obviously Jean Vanier. Uh, we have programs to meet every student's needs. You have to have spaces where portability, where the learning, even the technology, the books, where students can just move it and learn where they need to learn. And I know a lot of teachers are embracing that whole uh, use of technology, either full class or uh, in small groups, because each student may need something different at a particular time in the, in the lesson or in the unit of study. And when teachers and when staff embrace that model, then we know the diverse learning needs and differentiation is occurring for students. We were uh, really excited, very proud, to have Vanier as our, our patron here. Our board's philosophy and, and the one we're trying to live out here is achieving, believing, belonging. So when we talk about student achievement, the, the groundwork we work from is every student can achieve. Um, Vanier's whole philosophy is about inclusion, dignity, showing compassion, valuing all different types of people and types of work. We've also offered uh, programs for the arts, drama, as we sit in, in this beautiful theater so that students can explore interests in that area of the artistic side, not necessarily academic. Yes, we offer, as I said, the academic stream, but we also offer many other programs that are very unique, not only to Jean Vanier, to uh, the Milton School community, but to Hall, all of Halton region. And just on the ground floor here, we've got a theater, we've got arts, we've got music, we've got tech, I think that says something about the philosophy of the school, that we're drawing all these, those things in together, front and center. Obviously academics, we're here to learn, and the facilities are, are second to none as well. But I think the fact that we're pulling all, that, all of those elements together says that we value all of those things. This is Dad's garage. In this space, what we wanted to do was create an opportunity for integration of technology, not the traditional separation of vocational training and technology. We wanted to create a space where the various technologies combine together, <clears throat> and we wanted to connect it to the student uh, uh, life in the school through the windows at either ends of the shops where the students are passing it every day. They can see they're three feet above the shop floor. They can look down and look over it. They can see what's going on. The student, the, the tech lounge up there um, is part of the connectivity to the school. The school definitely supports digital learning. Uh, specifically in the math department, we're huge advocates of technology. Um, we, the school was built around the premise that most classrooms would have an interactive whiteboard. Um, we have laptop carts and um, in our math department we have a set of iPads and our, our department has really embraced that and we you know consistently use the interactive whiteboards, we use the iPads in the classroom and it lends itself to collaboration, it lends itself to critical thinking so the, the students are working together and not by themselves because we, all, we often share the device and not just using them individually. Well, I, I think that there are other aspects of what Jean Vanier communicates to us that are evident in the school in really interesting ways to me. Um, one of his major themes is about community and I believe, you know, walking through this school this is an optical metaphor for community. So there's that connection, even though we're, we're somehow physically separated, we're emotionally and, and in some other ways connected. So I can't believe it was beyond the intentionality and design of the architects not to, in so many levels, in so many physical ways, uh, create that connection. The uh, school was built with the community in mind. As, as you know, the architects were able to uh, build the school so that we had the facilities that the town and the community would use, the, uh, the gyms, the theatres, the cafetorium, all areas that can be used very easily for the town and the community's purpose. And so the dome really fulfilled uh, the completion of that dream, that idealistic uh, thought that is now turned into reality. I was really excited the day they called me into a meeting and they said, what do you think, can we put a dome on the Jean Vanier site? And even though we were six months into construction, uh, we were pleased to get involved. We told them, yeah, it can be done. We contacted the appropriate subcontractors. We made changes to the servicing for the field that we're seeing right now. 
Uh, we helped the town put out a proposal call for the dome manufacturers. Uh, we coordinated with them, uh, had a foundation constructed all the way around the dome while the fabric was being manufactured and, um, and then it all came together in the fall. Uh, along with talented staff members from our office, I also was working with uh, some very experienced people at the school board and some excellent contractors and subcontractors to, to construct the school. Uh, this place is busy from 6.30 in the morning a.m., whether it be the weight room or the gym, and our, our teams can practice, uh, until 6.30 at night when these teams are outside in the dome, on the, on the football field. Uh, this has become a real hub for, for the Milton community because, again, these facilities you don't find uh, in most places, in most towns. Uh, I would compare our facilities to university facilities, to be honest. The community is always um, welcome and entitled to use the facilities as per the agreement. So it's a wonderful community initiative, it's a wonderful community school and together we learn more and we give more to each other. The first thing you notice when you walk in uh, into the school is the light. The light streams in from the atrium, the cafeteria, uh, the gymnasium, the corridors and uh, the psychological effects of sunlight have been well documented. Uh, natural light is very important, especially in a, in a northern climate like ours. The ability to have the infusion of light come through throughout the building is phenomenal. Sean Vanny speaks about uh, faith and light, and this school encompasses light in every area, every nook and cranny, every room, you have that expression of, of sunshine that brightens your day. I was immediately drawn to how many windows there are in the building and how open uh, the initial entrance was, the atrium. Uh, the one thing about Vanya that, that is fantastic when you come in, uh, even though you're in here at 6.30 in the morning, again, you can watch the sunrise in the windows. Uh, again, the, the natural light permeates the entire building. They want the light coming in. Um, so it's definitely been a spirit booster in the classroom to have all the natural light. The thing you notice is the openness and the transparency within the building. There is a visual connectivity throughout, from the atrium to the cafeteria, from the cafeteria to the outside. And unusually for a high school, the tech shop activity is visible right from the atrium. Well, every school needs some playful and uh, whimsical elements. Among other things, the atrium street ambience here was animated with uh, a simulated outdoor cafe and bond board accents. Uh, there is a ticket booth right at the entrance of the, uh, the auditorium and then there are uh, banners there. Uh, this kind of uh, recalls the uh, everything theatre, you know, and uh, the idea was to create a blend of hard and soft surfaces, uh, warm and cool materials, textures and colours, and really this is how one relates to a place. Um, I noticed the welcome environment with the high ceilings and the outside coming in, so it was very fluid. For sure, I remember first semester, grade, like it was the beginning of grade 11, and after the end of the day, all the students would just hang out here after school, and it was like really fun because it would be like, not even just grade with grade, it would just be like everyone hanging out in the atrium here. I believe in a composite school with a structure the way it is, the openness of the cafeteria, the openness of the atrium, it leads itself directly to our school chapel, uh, where this, the spiritual core of our, our being, that kind of presence, you can't help but feel it. And even when you, you're not fully aware, it's still impacting you. And that perceptual context is going to have an influence on your state of mind and your approach to people, tasks, and opportunities. It's a good thing that there's space for kids to be able to enjoy each other and, and talk with peers, to be able to talk with staff. Jean Vanier is, has been well received and it continues to be a flagship for our board in terms of uh, bringing together what we saw as the vision for our students and our staff.